Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, this session. Thank you, Nalita, for the introduction. Um, okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. I've been using Paper Pals since I would say it first launched um, quite organically. And if you watch any of my things on my channel, you'll really know that I uh, I really recommend and I think it offers a great kind of set of tools for students. Now, um, if we just look at sort of an example of uh, a piece of work so you can see that there, there are so many mistakes in this document and as a student you, you know you've got your your written piece of work and you might want to enhance it make it sound more academic and just kind of make that last bit of writing and kind of the, the ending of your writing process a bit more productive um so i'll summarize it at the end sort of what those key points are but i'll show you an example straight away because we've heard lots of talking but i know we want to see exactly how it works um, so the first kind of aspect is to check your text. So here you can see I have a piece of text that I've written about uh, cellular processes. And straight away on the side here, I've integrated PaperPal into my Microsoft Word document. And I think this is the best way to use it integrated. So you, as you write, as it, you know, you're on your left hand side here, you're typing away on the right hand side. It's like your research assistant correcting your work for you. So what you can see is there's you know, spelling mistakes, there's verb form issues, there's a rephrasing that I could do. Bear in mind, I've also changed the settings to make sure it's British English, which I think is a really kind of um, important setting to have. So it's picking out behavior because, of course, uh, with British English, it needs to have a U inside it. Um, spelling mistakes, rephrasing. And bear in mind that with Paper Pal, they are focusing a lot on, on the academic writing side of things. So the text and the suggestions it's giving you is based off of what like research papers and theses would actually have. So this is firstly the first step as a student, what you would use. The second step that you want to kind of use it for is to enhance different phrases. So you know, right now I've got my first paragraph that I've written. This is original. It's my text. I now want to think about how can I improve it and how can I take this from, you know, a good piece of work to an excellent piece of work. So one of the tools that you have is you have um, a tool called synonyms. So let's say, you know, this word, I've used it a few times. I want to get a different word. You can clearly see here that I've been given as three other suggestions of words and the sentence here are based off of how much they are used in literature. So you can see that actually in literature, a word that would be better to use would be multitude. So I'd rather say um, relying on a multitude of molecular uh, players and I'll click that. And you know that will change it for me automatically. And you know this is a small kind of easy way to enhance your text um, using the paper pal tool. The second way that you can enhance is by using the paraphrase tool. So if you go to Copilot here, you can see that there's this paraphrase tool. So, you know, let's say um, there's a sentence here that I, I feel like, you know, I want to make it sound a bit more academic, a little bit better. I can press the paraphrase tool and I can say generate and that will generate uh, another sentence that uh, it retains its meaning. That's really key. We're keeping the meaning. We're not changing what we originally said and we can now replace this now here's where as a student you need to bear in mind and i think we need to be really careful with uh using ai ethically and i you know I, i'm a huge advocate of using ai but i'm also an advocate of using it ethically so whilst you saw that i took my original text i paraphrased it i still wouldn't just leave it as it is I would still take a look, make sure it makes sense, make sure that the tone is still, you know, correct. It still kind of flows with my text and I might even still tweak it a little bit. So it actually is original. It's the work that I've done. It hasn't given me anything new. And that's the key thing. So that's the second way to use it. The third way is I can actually generate text. So again, let's go back to PayPal Copilot here. I can generate text. Um, so I can, for example, I can generate an outline, I can generate a title, abstract, keywords, but let's just pick on the ones that I, I like and I think I use quite a lot. So this is an example, I can generate a title. Now titles are um, hard to come across and I find that I spend lots of time trying to get a good title for my essays and for my text. So it can read the information that's here in my essay and it can give me a, a good title that summarizes what I've just said. So this actually sounds really good. Um, and again, I think, you know, this is an, an element of kind of 
using what AI has suggested to you, remember the word suggested, but then taking it to the next level and making it more personal. So I might say, you know what, I let's copy this. I like this. Let's put it here in my title. Um, but actually, I'm not sure I like the word, let's just clean this up. I'm not sure I like the word uh, dissecting. So maybe I will use a different word to dissecting. I can use the synonyms and get a different word to dissecting. I'm not sure I like the word, the word multifunctional. So I'll change that up. But overall, I do like this title. If I don't like it at all, I can regenerate for a new title. And I just love the fact that, you know, it isn't providing you, like I said, it, it, it isn't providing you with something that's outside of your realm. It's just making that process a little bit tighter and giving you the efficient tools to work more productively. So again, I, I quite like this one, it's a bit shorter, and I think this one could work quite well as well. Another thing that you can generate is um, abstracts and summaries. So uh, let's say, you know, you wrote quite a bit of text, you can say generate an abstract. And I, again, I quite like this, not necessarily to just use it as an abstract, but actually to get a good feel of your work. Once you've written a, a long piece of work or a thesis or dissertation, you can say, give me the abstract of this, take a look at it and say, right, does this abstract make sense? Like, does this actually summarize what I'm saying? And if the answer is yes, then actually, it's just a great way to kind of confirm what you've done. Um, or you can actually copy this as a summary and then take a look at it and see kind of other bits that you want to change or tweak and things like that. The last one is uh, generating outlines. So I think uh, I, need to, I need to mention this in the beginning. You can generate an outline for, let's say, an essay. So you want to give very specific details for what your essay is about. So um, my essay is, hang on a second, my essay, I wrote it here. Um, my essay, I'm saying, give me an outline for an essay about IQ gap one nucleation, which is a protein, and the cell cortex. So I've told it I'm writing an essay. You can even go into more depth and say I'm writing an essay of 2,000 words, 5,000 words, etc. And here, this is wonderful. You can get a really good outline. And again, I'm really touching upon as a student using this to make your um, work and your kind of process more productive. So what you really want here is this is an outline. It hasn't written your essay for you. It hasn't written your literature review for you. It hasn't written your thesis for you. But what it is doing is it's giving you an outline which you can then say, right, let me just copy this. Let's go, you know, let's go down here. Let's paste this. And now we have somewhere to begin. You know, we've kind of overcome that initial writer's block where we're like, oh, you know, what do we need to, uh, what am I writing about in this essay? I don't, I, you know, I'm a bit lost. I've, I've read all these papers. How can I write this essay in the best possible way? And I, you can see here, I have a really lovely outline. Um, introduction, the overview, the role, the significance, and, you know, conclusion. This is perfect. I can now go do the research, do my reading, and bring that information back onto this platform. So that was the third, generating text. The last is um, some finishing touches. So let's go back up here to the one I wrote earlier. So we can do uh, trimming. Word counts uh, issues are some of the biggest challenges that students face. And I can't tell you how many times a day I'm asked, how can I cut down my words from this number to this number without changing the meaning? And it is hard. But with this tool, what you can do is, uh, let's go to trim. So first you click trim. Then you want to highlight the section that you want to trim. Um, currently it's 74 words and I want to get it to 56, which is quite a good um, reduction. And you'll see that it will generate that shortened uh, paragraph for me. And as I mentioned earlier, you can either use this to inspire you for parts that you actually think, you know what, it's not that necessary. Or you could just say replace, and you can clearly see here it's, it is shorter. And then you can say, right, let me see if there's any parts of this that I might need to change. Do I need to add references? Do I need to kind of actually, maybe they've taken out a bit too much. Maybe I need to put things back in, shift things around. But it has instantly trimmed your text for you. So like I said, I keep on reiterating this. It isn't giving you new text. Um, it's actually cutting down what you already have. Um, and then lastly, I, the last uh, feature that I absolutely love is this one here, uh, which says make academic. And again, I think uh, writing academically is a tool, is, is, a, is a skill that comes over you know, decades in academia. 
And as a student, you're probably, you know, quite new in, in the academic writing um, field. So actually, there's a few things that you can do that would make your writing sound more academic. And this can do it for you. So what you can do is, uh, again, highlight. You can either highlight a sentence. You don't have to highlight this much. I'm just showing you with a larger amount. But you can even just highlight a sentence. And then you can say generate, make it more academic. And what you'll find, again, is that can you see it hasn't actually changed what I've said. It has simply just maybe used or replaced some words into words that you'll find in research papers or words that uh, can take a sentence that maybe is a little bit sloppy and make it sound more concise. So again, you can either copy this uh, directly. Let's just replace it. Um, the length hasn't changed here. It's just made it a little bit more tighter. So those are kind of the, my favorite tools um, that I wanted to briefly go through. Um, there are so many others that you can kind of look at as well, in term, in, including Ask Paper Pal. So if I stop sharing, um, just to go back to the presentation on my slide, yeah. please, um, you'll see that I've kind of just run through those four uh, points. And that's what I spoke about. I thought I'd show it to you first so you can see. Um, so checking your text, enhancing your words, generating some text. I personally would say as a student, stick to kind of outlines and summaries and titles and things like that. And then lastly, the finishing touches that you might need to make it sound more academic. And um, I'll end with the, a question that I saw earlier saying, you know, is kind of in terms of plagiarism, does this touch upon it? And nothing I have shown you here is saying that we're generating text and we're copying and pasting, right? Um, I think it's really, really important. And I think it's important to make sure that AI isn't replacing your skill as a researcher or, or a student, rather it's just enhancing and making um, the process more productive, just like the whole calculator situation that we learned about earlier. Mm -hmm.